It's that time of year when you might want to think about starting an organic garden, and you should. Gardening with young children in tow can indeed have its challenges. But gardening also offers virtually unlimited learning opportunities for kids and adults alike. So here are five simple tips for planning a garden with your kiddos. Despite the economic downturn, the gardening industry has grown year on year since 2008, with sales totaling more than £4.6 billion in 2010. Meanwhile, grow your own and self-sufficiency are fast becoming gardening buzzwords, as both cash-strapped and environmentally conscious people turn to their gardens in search of a cheap and ethical, the source of fresh food. According to the Horticultural Association, half of the garden owners intended to grow food in their gardens last year, 12% of whom were first-time gardeners. Most gardeners' obvious starting point is seeds, which are both plentiful and cheaper than investing in seedlings. First, not all beetles are destructive. Many are good, like ladybirds. Organic gardening encourages beneficial insects while discouraging pests. Crop rotation is one way to deal with pests. The idea is that when pests wake up in spring, their favorite snack is now in a completely different place, far away, at least within bug distance. If bugs are plaguing your garden, sometimes the best thing to do is to remove them and put them in some soapy water. You can also make a natural pest spray at home that is simple to make, safe, and effective. A garden is an easy way for aspiring homeowners to become more self-sufficient and grow some of their food. And going organic is the way to go. It's not difficult to start an organic vegetable garden, but it can be daunting. The steps to making your own are outlined below. My daughters and I have a lot of fun gardening.